this hot here. sauce is so hot. Do you, do you like really hot things? I do, but that is unbelievably hot. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Do you like hot sauce? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> but you know, you gotta try new things in life. No, you don't. Yeah, you're right. Just a piece of pork, a pork chop, you know? Pork, I don't know, I don't think it's that good for you, but uh, I like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not good for you, because it's a pig. But, uh, but I like it. Anything with a snout, I don't think you're supposed to eat. I think that may be in the scriptures, I'm not sure, but I recall something about that. My doctor has me on a snoutless diet right now. He says I gotta exercise every day, aerobics and uh, latissimus dorsi, all that shit, you know, get my back and everything, and then no snouts. But no, uh, my friend, I tell you, let me tell you something. My friend, who is a vegetarian, she's a girl, you know, like all vegetarians are, and uh, <laughs> you don't mean a lot of dudes, you know. But uh, anyway, she was talking to me about the vegetarianism stuff, right? Now, I, have you ever, have you ever had this experience where you think uh, something's right your whole life, you know, and then in a moment, in a flash, you realize You've been wrong about everything you've ever believed ever. Not everything, but that one thing. <laughs> By the way, if you ever wake up and you realize you've been wrong about everything in your entire life, <laughs> that's not a good day then. You may as well. May as well go down to the rope store and <laughs> buy yourself a length of rope. But then go down to the stool store, get yourself a nice stool. <laughs> then you go over to the notepad store, you buy yourself a notepad. You really, then you get a pen, you only really need four things. And <laughs> Must be hard to write those notes. You know, why am I supposed to write it on this little thing? Everything that drove me to end my life? I can't, I don't know where to start. But, uh, Wait, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, pork. <laughs> no, because my friend, who's a vegetarian, this girl, she was telling me, you know, she, we always argue because she's a vegetarian, and I am not a vegetarian. And so she, uh, you know, she, uh, she has her opinions, and I have my opinions, and I realize that her opinions are actually stronger than my opinions. Like, she'll say to me, she goes, you can't eat, uh, you know, animals that, because they're God's creatures too, you know what I mean? And, uh, we, you shouldn't uh, destroy another uh, creature of uh, our great God just so that you could have a frivolous meal that would not be necessary. You can't extinguish the life of a, uh, you know, and then I go, I like pork. That's my opinion. <laughs> so that's, that's not a good argument at all. So anyways, the upshot of it is that people can change, thank God, uh, you know. Through the glory of God, people can come to changes in life. And I am now a vegetarian, so that's nice, you know. Thank you very much. I'm not a strict vegetarian. I, I eat meat, but I am a, <laughs> I am a vegetarian, but not a strict one. I only eat meat. You know what I don't like is vegetables. I can't eat those. I can't, I can't stand eating vegetables. So in the strictest term, we're, you know, strictest use of the word, you know, strict. I'm not a strict vegetarian. But you know what she does, uh, my, my friend that uh, is a vegetarian? She makes this thing every Thanksgiving. I don't know if you've ever eaten this. It's called a tofur, tofurkey. Tofu, it's a very, it's an unwieldy word. No one likes to hear it. But it's a, it's a turkey. But it's not really a turkey, you know? Sounds like a turkey because it's got a lot of the same letters. <laughs> but what they do is they take tofu, you see, and then they fashion it into the countenance of a turkey, you know? Which doesn't fool me. And also, I don't understand why she does it on account of she's making it into the thing that she doesn't want to eat in the first place. <laughs> you know, that seems...
I would not do that. You know. I was in Cambodia once. I ate a brain. It was brain. Really? Yeah, mine was stupid. Now, uh... Oh, yeah. Well, hey, McDonald. Okay, good. Now. You're going to show both of us uh, how to cook something fantastic today. Is that yes. correct? Yes, we're going to do an, the most amazing red mullet with some fennel orange and... On the back of how bad you were last time, this is going to be cooked in a bag. Uh, okay, we're going to cook this in a bag. Yes. You are known, you clap your hands a lot, yes. you yell at people, you're intimidating. This uh, is going to go very badly. Besides well, you two guys. Now, right. come on. Very good. Uh, right, first thing I want you to do is to segment an orange, All okay? Right. Norm? Yeah. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> okay. Well, no, no one else Stop. in the world says segment an orange. <laughs> yeah. okay. You just cut you're, the edges off. That's what you want, right? No, you, you want no, the... you really started the wrong end. Look, that's the bit there. All, all right, all right. Well, no, okay. So just top and tail it like that. Look, come on, wake up, stand I'm there. Up, yeah, I'm up to four there. segments. So, so, <laughs> no. Why you didn't tell me a number of segments? No. He wants no, no, the no, edges no, no, off. No, I think. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Right. Right. Okay. Norm, so go from yeah. there. Look, all the way round. Yeah. Yes. Seven minutes okay. of audio will play yeah. for now, this whole hour. All the way there. <laughs> Once you've gone Between all the way around... Between you two guys. All right, yeah. here we go, yeah. Uh, Conan, pay attention, please. Yeah, watch. all right, I'm over here. Okay. i got my own orange going. Okay, watch. All, right. well, all, all the way around, so we take off the skin. Uh, yeah. right. you're, not, you're not teaching me, you're no. just showing up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in from there. That's the segment. There you go, all right. Cheerio and chop-chop. Right. Chop. Chop. Here we go. Right. Right. Now, watch that. your fingers. I'll now. do that. All right. And then after that? All right. Okay. Now, look at this. Mine's pretty good over here. There's some sections of skin still, but what the hell Where's the orange going? And it's like one in the morning. Who, you know... All we'll right. forget that one. Right, fennel. Okay, here we go. Now with the fennel, oh, okay. All right. Whoa, okay. So push it off and just yep. slice that down nice and thin. Now that okay? I can do. That okay. looks, see, what, that was explained. Watch your fingers. I segmented another one. <laughs> where's, this, where's, where's the segment? <laughs> what? Yeah. Where is Where is it? <laughs> I threw it over there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, look. All right, I'm, so, I'm doing well, so, Gordon. So I will that's be the, the good one. part. That's the inside part. Right. Okay, right, okay. Stop yelling. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, sorry. right, that's great. Right. Now from there, take your bag. All right. Okay, now we'll do one each, okay? Why well, would you become a cook? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Norm, keep it together. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> uh, big boy. Okay, okay word, all right. The, the, the word so, chef. Right. Chef, right. I'm sorry, okay. chef. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Ladies cook. I know, okay. I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. Oh. I think Joe, because this is... Oh. All right, all right. No, you okay. um, oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! We can bleep out the swears, but when there's this going around, I can't do anything. I was that. waving. Do you know what I'm I was waving. All right, so we got the right. vegetables in the bag. Okay, right, fennel. Fennel. Oh, the fennel. fennel goes in the bag. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't oh, check what you okay. need the bag. I need the oh, bag. Stop it! Stop it! Okay. None right, of this right. will air. Okay. We're going to show okay. an old F troop in this right. section. So, <laughs> Fennel. All right, um, fennel in here. Okay, on By there. the way, there's a now, bottle of booze. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be following me. All right, right. All right. so he puts oranges in okay. here. And then this from there, mess. red okay. mullet. Red mullet is red a mullet. kind no, of no, fish. No, no. Knife doesn't go in the bag. No, yeah. you'll, slice, you'll slice someone's throat open, Norm. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> From there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, olive oil. Okay, a little okay. olive oil, a little now, aglio de oil. Now, from there, now watch carefully, a little bit of seasoning, okay? Oh. Whoa, okay. Norm, you're making me feel dizzy standing there looking busy. Right, right. here we go. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you one thing, man, I'm not eating this in the <laughs> 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 Okay, right, why are we even having a cooking segment at this point? Why would there even be a cooking segment? <laughs> Here we go. Ridiculous. Right here. Right, 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 pull the bag over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice and tight. All right. Okay. And then from there, twist the paper so we can see the end. All right. Oh, nice and tight. Dad, I hope he's nice a magician. And <laughs> <laughs> nice and tight. A bird's gonna okay. come out. Yeah. Now, all right. Here we go. All the way. All right. All the way round. All right. Okay. Now, chop, chop. Now, yeah. From there, a little hole. A little hole. Okay. Right and then from there, pour a little bit of wine in there. It's a big okay. waste of wine right there, buddy boy. Okay. Right, right in here. And then from there, turn it round. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Come on, no! <laughs> you gotta be tight! Tight. <laughs> he does it and then goes, look what Norm did! He goes, take it nice and tight! This is not gonna air! This will, air. This will <laughs> never be seen by anybody! This will never be seen by anybody! Just concentrate! We've learned. Okay, okay, what does it look like okay. at the end? Oh, right. look, it just came out magically <laughs> from a pan. <laughs> This is how it's cooked. As it cooks, oh, yeah, it yeah. steams inside the bag, oh, okay? Yeah. So then you rip it open, yeah. and there you got a beautifully steamed red mullet, orange, and fennel. Wow. It never gets uh, better than that. <laughs> Do it exactly the way we did, using the same language and the same obscene gestures. 
Gordon Ramsay, oh. Norm Macdonald, my apologies. Oh. Right back. Leave on here. You eat dinner at a restaurant different than you eat dinner at your home. Like, at, at your home, you would never say, man, I'm going to make myself a pork chop. Cook it up till it's hot on one side, then turn it over, hot on the other side, cook it, and then cut into it a little bit, see how it's going in the middle. <laughs> but while I'm waiting for my pork chop to get nice and hot and delicious so I can eat it, first, I'll eat a big <laughs> loaf of bread. <laughs> I've never asked you this before, and we've been good friends for many years. Ah. Okay, I made that up. But no. uh, we haven't. No, no, we're friends. We're good friends. But I don't know what your I'm McDonald. Is that Irish? Is that Scottish? What's your ethnic background? My ethnic uh, background is Polish. Are you really Polish? <laughs> wow! Polish I didn't Irish. realize that. Yeah. McDonald, you don't. Well, my my parents changed their names. They right. had to because of the constant ribbing they'd get for being Polish, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so they changed their name to McDonald. But, uh, you know, it's one of the things that you can, you know, I mean, I get a little upset about it, you know? Because, uh, you know, All you can't... All the Polish jokes Yeah, and stuff. you can't make jokes about other people, but for some reason you make jokes about Polish people, you know? Right, right. I don't like it. Right. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't. That sounds yeah. bad, yeah. I mean, I had an experience, you know? I go in uh, uh, and, I, and I order a, a Polish sausage, mm -hmm. you know? from this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so the guy says to me, oh, oh, uh, you must be Polish. And I said, come on, man. I mean, come on. Think about it, what you're saying. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to knock some sense into this fellow's head, maybe give him a, a wider world view, you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. I said, you think because I order a Polish sausage, I'm Polish. I, I said, what if somebody came in here and ordered French toast? Would you, would you think he was French, you know? Right, right. I mean, what if somebody came in here and ordered a, why a, why a Belgian waffle? Would you consider that guy uh, a Belgian? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, if, if a guy came in and ordered a, a German bratwurst, would you would you consider that fellow to be a, a German fella? Right. I right. said, what if a guy came in and ordered German potato salad? I suppose you'd think he was German too. Yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> what if a guy? I said, what if a guy? Wow, you talked to this guy for a while. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. This. <laughs> With, with racists, you have to get through You have to, to them. really get it into their head. Right. I said, if a guy came in and he ordered a Cuban hamburger, are you going to assume he's a Cuban? Right, right, right. I said, I think it is absolutely ridiculous that just because I come in here, I order a Polish sausage, why would you jump to the fact that I'm Polish? Right. And the guy says to me, well, first of all, it's a hardware store. <laughs> And you hate Polish jokes, don't you? You just I, hate them. No, I think they're disgusting. <laughs> okay. So, this is my promise okay. to the people of the Video Podcast Network world. I will not eat a single morsel of food until Margaret Thatcher is dead and buried. She died three weeks ago. We'll be... We'll be right back. <laughs> he tries to do one thing to alter his modern lifestyle every year. And this year, he says he's only going to eat meat that he's actually killed. And I was wondering, what are you adhering to? I'm a vegetarian, a strict vegetarian. No, have you done that? Well, I eat chicken. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, not all that it's not vegetarian. I mean, well, I'm not, I said I'm not strict. I eat chicken and... Steaks. And <laughs> <laughs> I ate raw game. Did you ever eat chicken? <laughs> It's not dead yet. No, no, you're over <laughs> And you there. eat it, and as you're eating it, their death throes are making you hungrier. <laughs> There's that, nothing. That's better than a soybean. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Which sounds better, that or soybean? Listen, some of the best meals I've had is that uh, Mongolian thing over at Dahmer's on Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Literally, we ate a Mongolian. Did I, <laughs> did I tell you I ate a, a, a live fish? In uh, real life? No, wow. no, no. Yeah, me. I was at a sushi restaurant, and uh, the guy's like uh, Japanese. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I go, I, I eat uh, just sashimi, like uh, raw fish. Mm -hmm. I don't eat uh, with uh, rice or anything like that. Yeah. I'm like, trying to impress him. <laughs> so he goes, uh, eat raw, uh, you eat uh, live fish? I go, yeah. Even though I don't. 
<laughs> and uh, he goes, you never think he's going to call you. On yeah, it. and yeah. Uh, I go, plus it sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I, I get you live fish. I go, thanks, man. Like I was an inside guy, and then he brought out a fish and uh, and hit it and knocked it out and put it on a stick. It was live. And that clears out a sushi bar. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people, are, my, the girl I was in was barfing in a bathroom. And the only people interested was the, the guy, the, the Japanese sociopath uh, guy. And all, the, uh, and all the Mexican help, they were all like looking like I'd eat it. And so I had to cut it. And then they leave the, 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 the fish that's on the skeleton that looks like the one Sylvester found on a mm -hmm. garbage thing. Mm hmm uh, to go to move, it's moving and like a dead bobblehead, and you had to put water in its mouth to keep it alive so you could watch it die as you ate. <laughs> it was a nice meal. <laughs> well, your metabolism slows down at our age. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 49 years old. I'm 47. Damn near 50. For me, too. I always say I'm pushing 50. Yeah, that's a scary and, age. But we have to exercise, man. You have to. I thought you, it was funny. Your heart could. <laughs> I thought gaining a lot of weight would be funny. Oh, and also, no, well, it started out I was funny. doing it for a role, Andy. <laughs> right. I'm serious. No. I'm serious. I was what role? role? Well, there wasn't a specific role, but <laughs> people were always looking for a fat guy. No, listen, seriously. <laughs> you can God, be as cruel as you want about it because I'm not being cruel. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be your friend because well, thank you. your heart could seize up. That's or what my doctor said. I'm he did? He said it was alarming. Oh, my God. You know what my and doctor said to, get... to me, Andy? He said, I said, okay, enough of this, you know? He said, okay, we're, uh, open your mouth and say oink. I'm like, <laughs> you... well, come on, man. Listen, I'm going to put in a good word for you to be on Dancing with the Stars. It's hard to get oh, on the oh, show, but please I thought do you were going to say it Please, for the love of God, do this. I think you I'm should do it. You. I think dancing you should get on stars? Dancing with the Stars. It, you lose weight. I was already thin, weight. and I lost 15 pounds. 15 pounds? 15 pounds. Wow. I did have a little bit of a belly, but not anymore. My only chance of losing 15 belly. pounds is if I went to a British casino. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't know. Listen, man. <laughs> Whoa. Son of a gun, that's hotter than a $2 pistol. Man, alive.